Uh, folks, this is Doug Reed again, and I just wanted to uh, present this short video to you about why you might want to consider upgrading your old uh, Mark 5 500 to a 510 or a 520. Um, I have both. I have a very old uh, 1953 Mark 5 that I keep in its original condition because it has some collectible and some sentimental value to me. I just wanted to kind of show you the difference in the table system here. First of all, you'll notice the locking mechanism of the old table is, is pretty clumsy. It only has a single trunnion, and this one's very stiff uh, to work with, um, and it's just not nearly as convenient. I, I have to admit that uh, sh putting this video together today, uh, I found it pretty frustrating. I, I just don't use the old system at all for uh, any kind of table saw work. I might use it for a drill press, but I use it primarily for a lathe. Now, here's an example of the difference of the size. This is the... Uh, the new extension table compared to the old extension table and uh, it's got to be twice the surface area I would guess um, and, and of course there's more pieces to it. Uh, on the old system you had only um, the two tables and here you can see the old green paint and as I said I didn't uh, upgrade this one because uh, I wanted to keep it. The headstock has been uh, changed out. I still have the old headstock sitting on the shelf. Here's another thing with the old system. Very, very little in the way of guards. Now, this is just a blade with a piece of tape on it. But when you see that full blade exposure, you can see there just wasn't much protection. And uh, I guess there was a time I used it that way, but today I wouldn't consider using a table saw without some kind of decent guard system on it. Um, and the new system is just vastly, vastly better. Here's a, a shot of the new table system with one um, ex uh, extension table. I'm going to flip this over to the other end so you can see how that works. You can run the extension table off of e either end and then you can run your floating tables off of that. And what that gives me is a total of eight and a half feet of total support. And it's not that I'm going to use that every day, but when I need it, it's awfully nice to have. Uh, the big heavy rip fence, vastly better. Uh, to me, a uh, good rip fence is just critical. And the new 520 fence is uh, one of the best I've worked with. It is self-squaring, double locking, very, very rugged fence. It also has the channels uh, on top uh, and on the side so I can add different kinds of jigs and fixtures as I need to. Um, the total spread, as I said, is about eight and a half feet and uh, I don't um, try to wrestle a full sheet of plywood through any table saw. Um, to be honest with you, even big commercial ones that I've used, it takes two people to do it. I like to cut them down to size and I'm going to show you in another video how you can uh, chop those down to size using your Mark V. Um, so again, uh, guards are much better. You can see you've got full coverage, dust collection, um, vastly improved when you get the new system. You're going to get the new carriage, the new um, wheel lift control, all the tables that you see there, all the extensions, the guards, um, everything you need to convert your old Mark V 500 into a 520. And uh, I, I'm just as pleased as I can be that I that I upgraded mine uh, some years ago. I upgraded to a 510 originally, then to the 520. Um, so that's really about all I wanted to show you today. But I do get the questions quite a bit about the value of upgrading uh, to the new fence and table system. And uh, it's been so long since I used one of the old ones, I even forget that people still have the old ones and use them. But uh, guys, if you got a limited budget, uh, I think that's your best bang for the buck. Um, if you own a shopsmith. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, just get a hold of me. I'll be more than happy to uh, uh, call you back if you leave me a phone number or just send me an email and I'll help you out any way that I can. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.